on the first move, so uh, none of the normal moves looked particularly appealing, so uh, I thought let's do something like a little bit different. And I, I mean, it does have some sense to develop um, develop the knight here this way, take some space. But then again, as I did say in the confessional, I think this move d4 was maybe <laughs> a bit uh, uh, over enthusiastic. Like I was, uh, I think he should definitely have taken it. I was going to go f4 and if um, c5 then to play c3. Uh, but honestly, I like. I think I was just too enthusiastic here. I think he can go b6, which I kind of underestimated uh, at first. If we go back like yeah. here, mm -hmm. if he plays d6, then I think all of a sudden, yeah, already like you see that this is like a massive swing. So this is what I was was counting on. This. Uh, like knight d3, long castles, and here we go. Um, <laughs> Gambit but, style. Damage. But uh, yeah, probably uh, I realized like after a while that b6 is probably quite strong. Mm -hmm. So it maybe is, uh, like instead I could regain the the pawn like playing something like queen b4 or b3. or, or, um, or knight b3. Yeah, but uh, it didn't look too appealing. So I was quite relieved when he went for uh, this. Okay, knight d3. Um, he, he still didn't want to take no, the pawn. I mean, no, I mean now. No, it's a better now version it's, already. No, it's uh, yeah. Now, like if takes f4, this makes a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so then. Or f3, maybe I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, what he did was quite logical. Um, C4. This seemed to be a big moment here. Yeah. Um, I was quite unsure. Uh, it was actually quite interesting here. If he'd gone bishop c7, which is say very normal move. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to play the move a4 um, and I was just going to play like this and then c4 uh, and I don't really care about this pawn uh, I just want to gain this temple to play b3 c4 now I stabilize I go queen d2 I go short castle uh -huh. and I have a pretty nice position like computer says slightly better for white but I f black but I felt that practically this was quite nice for me so I was kind of expecting this, but I had no idea how to uh, how to evaluate these positions. Like I thought, I thought I was probably okay, uh, but it was it was so it was so incredibly weird. Um, yeah, I see that now the computer says that I was I'm better, but I I really had just no idea what was going on. Yeah, computer preferred to go to F. Yeah, so I could have. Yeah, I probably should have. Probably should have done that. G six and E three. E three. Yeah, I was considering then this just give up, uh, give up this pawn. I don't know, knight D four, or um, something like that. Oh, okay. Apparently that's bad. Uh, yeah. so maybe there is some tactical justification here, but that was kind of hard to see. Yeah, let's have a quick look. Uh, queen d2. Uh, queen d2. Apparently. And then bishop c7, I go knight or 6 Yeah, or? Knight takes no, d5 actually. even. Knight takes d5. Okay, I'm pro having pro problems. Castle and then <laughs> Problems visualizing. <laughs> ah, and then I can... No, oh. no, okay, you have to cast all the way to a8, yeah. And then I can then go. Ah, okay, then I can this go is insane. Take, okay, this I is can insane. go take this. Okay, I, I yeah, mean, this is crazy. yeah. I I didn't think I needed to play that concretely. Mm -hmm. I, I thought, I thought even here I was doing pretty, um, pretty uh, okay. But uh, um, yeah, um, I thought. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of things happened. Um, I thought here. Uh, I actually thought rook f7 might, might have been a better regrouping, but apparently like that's a terrible move, so I, I mean we just have no idea. Um, anyway, like what's happened seemed more or less logical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, b4. Um, Maybe he missed this f5 move, we were wondering. No, I don't think so. Okay. I really don't think so. I think this was all, this was all planned. Um, but here, were you happy about your position after HHG? No, I, I mean, I thought I have some prospects, but it's also quite vulnerable because he's going to take on f5 at some point, get the knight going. So I wasn't, I wasn't sure at all, but maybe I made mistakes later. I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, bishop g5, a4, gf5. 
Yeah, he I mean, could have taken with the knight as well. This was the uh, engine's preferred choice. Oh, yeah, I just didn't want to And then, and then play a5 and mm. and go for the attack, knight uh, e5, queen g2. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I should have done this. Yeah, I didn't didn't trust myself here. And Magnus, then one question, if you were not that sure, if he plays bishop h4 instead of g takes f5, then how you were uh, planning to avoid the repetition? Oh, what was your bishop h4, idea of the bishop, oh, and then bishop g5? I, I mean, I thought I can go knight f1. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you, you would have played knight f1, right? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. position, I was not... I, I thought, like, this actually kind of worsens his position. Because I think now, after this, I can just take with... Okay, apparently I should take with a bishop, but I thought I could even take with a pawn. Uh, and uh, go rook h1 and sort of keep his knight at bay. Um, but yeah, I mean, here... Yeah, here it's around equal. Yeah, here I'd clearly kind of lost control a bit. Um, and I had, yeah, I had no idea here. Um, Were you surprised to see Queen E4 happen? No, I was not surprised because I didn't realize that it was uh, that it was a bad move. Um, and it's, I mean, it's far from obvious at first. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I mean, mostly I was expecting BA5. Um, but I, I mean, it was it was really hard to um, it was really hard to judge actually. Um, yeah, you probably should have taken and then played Queen E4. Yeah, probably takes in queen e4, and I mean, equal seems a reasonable assessment, but um, he also played queen e4 with such confidence that I was <laughs> w wondering if uh, if I'm actually worse, but it, I, I, like, I, I'm very happy that I managed to sit down, relax, and actually uh, realize that I'm, that I'm much better, because it's far from obvious um at first but it's really it's really just shocking how bad his bishop on on g5 is um yeah, and rook h1 being the key move here uh yeah okay but that's that's really um that's really kind of obvious but <laughs> uh, i mean the the key move here is bishop to f4 uh -huh. um i'm actually shocked that he didn't because rook f8 that's just resi Losing resi on the spot. resignation um so knight g7 this is what I was considering, king c8, knight to e6, now rook e4. And, I mean, there are many tempting ways for me to um, um, to play here, but I, I wasn't sure if it's, if it's actually, um, if it's actually that, that easy to win. Like this, knight c5, uh, knight c5 I think king e7. And, you know, once I take on b7, I have to reckon with, uh, we check, even though that probably wins. Um, but also here, I didn't quite see how to um, uh, to win on the spot. So I, I mean, for better or for worse, it. he had to he had to try this. Or he, I mean, he could also take him bishop before that was take him bishop before. Yes. Uh, but yeah, um, this I think just generally wins quite precisely. I think I just. Um, I can actually even put the knight in e7 if I if I want, and uh, um, yeah, generally it should um, it should win in, in the long run. But rook f8, that was um, that was crazy because now uh, now it's like it's not even difficult. Like I have I have a lot of plans to win. For instance, b5 followed by knight c6, and um, I can do whatever I want. Like if bishop d3. Uh, bishop e4. Uh, I mean, I can take it knight e6 to c5. This wins easily, but I can also like just go rook h3, b5, knight c6. <laughs> b5, knight c6 is quite a nice motive, but also he just doesn't have any. No, he doesn't have any moves. moves. Like his yeah. bishop is just shockingly poor. All right, congratulations, Tanya Peter. Do you have any questions for me? Well, Magnus? our feeling was that it was a fantastic positional masterpiece, so we were very happy to have the privilege of experiencing it. This knight c2 prophylaxis getting b4 in, we, found, we thought like this was uh, super instructive because black seemed to be threatening rook f8, bishop f8, bishop c5. What did you think at that point? Um, I was far from sure. Like, I, I thought like uh, knight c2 b4 was the principled way to, to, to play because I thought if he gets his bishop to, to c5, then 
Um, I mean, I'm not really fighting for much, but yeah, I was... Uh, the problem is like, especially when you have such a weird starting position that um, like you have strategic plans, but these guys are too good. So they always find ways to make it very, very, very difficult. And I, I feel like I was trying to do, um, trying to get my pieces on good squares, but in the end it was a little bit random that the way it's, it happened. But uh, I'm I'm happy with the fact that I managed to at least like um you know think on my own from move one and do something like a little bit different from what the others did um so uh yeah uh, i would i would not call it a masterpiece by any mean but i would say that it was uh, definitely a very interesting strategic game and that's what we're all here for Back is G4, starting with G4, pawn sacrifice early on uh, can we call this anti-young player chess and freestyle chess um, no, so the funny thing, the funny thing is, um, on the score sheet, you know, uh, there's a space for um, uh, the round, the date, uh, the opponent, and for whatever reason, there's a, there's a space for opening, which makes no <laughs> sense whatsoever. So I just wrote Grob today, as oh, I played one G4. Uh, and then I think like yesterday was... Um, King's pawn opening and the first day was like e4, b, uh, e4, e5, b4. So I just wrote wrote miscellaneous and in, instead. So um, yeah, I don't know what to 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 call it. I think um, there it's not so easy to play anti young player chess in in this format for sure. Fair. And before we let you go, Magnus, this is the live position on uh, Lavon.